y'all, I have got to give it up. iOS 10 is making me fall in love with my iPhone all over again. What's going on everyone, Tech Me Out here, and Apple just recently pushed out iOS 10. And with iOS 10 came a lot of changes, and one of those changes in particular that I was most excited about is messages. So now you have a lot of different features and messages that you didn't have before, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of those things that you can do within messages for iOS 10. So a feature that I really like about messages that took me the longest to figure out how to do is to handwrite a message. So to do so, if you wanna handwrite a message to someone, all you have to do is put your device into landscape mode and it pulls up a canvas. And on this canvas, you can actually start writing out what you want to say. Now what you don't see is what the other person sees on their end, which is you writing out the message. So they see the full animation of how you wrote the message. But if you happen to be in a rush, you can choose from some predefined options down at the bottom and it'll even save the recent things that you wrote as well down there so that you have quick access to it. But I really like this feature because it kind of takes you back to, you know, writing things with pen and paper to someone, except now you're writing with your finger on your iPhone. So for all of my emoji lovers out there, now you can quickly change your text to emojis. So what happens is when you write a word, it will actually give you an emoji as a suggestion. Or you can take advantage of holding down this globe here and sliding to your emoji option and seeing it scan your text so that you can just then tap on the word and choose between the emoji options. So I can quickly change the word queen to a crown or I can tap on movie and change it to some popcorn. Now what I really like about iOS 10 messages is that you can really emit the emotion that you're trying to convey when you're having a conversation. So one thing that you can do to add a bit more emotion to your text is to either 3D touch this arrow or press and hold onto the arrow and it'll then pull up a few options to send your message with an effect. So what you can do is just slide your finger through all these different effects to get a preview of how each of them look so you can just choose the one that kind of goes with what you're trying to convey in your message so if I wanted that one all I have to do is just tap on it and it will now be sent with that type of effect so when the person receives it they'll see it with that effect in their messages now something else you may have noticed there is let me get some text in here when you go to this arrow and you pull up your effects one of the options that you have is invisible ink so if I were to tap on that it's gonna send the text here with this little animation so that it's going to be hidden until the person actually takes their finger over it and slides it to reveal what's behind it. So you can do that for text and pictures, but you do first wanna add the picture that you want to have that invisible ink effect on, or you wanna go ahead and type in your text that you want the invisible ink effect to be applied to. Now, when we take our attention to the bottom of our screen here, we'll see that we have an arrow. And when we tap on that arrow, it's gonna reveal some more features that weren't there before. So if you're not a fan of the changes of iOS 10, then you probably wanna steer clear of this section. But if you wanna explore along with me, then let's go ahead and take a look at what this first icon does. So the first one here is your camera. If you tap on it, it's gonna pull up your camera so you can take a picture right now by just simply tapping on the live preview. And it will then add a photo that you can instantly send. And the cool thing about this one here is that you can actually just keep tapping. You don't even even have to tap the white circle there to actually take the photo you can just tap on the live preview and it will take the photo so you can send more than one photo at a time and this is really nice especially when you're trying to be in stealth mode and sneak a pic <laughs> you don't have to pull up your full camera to do so anymore you can just go ahead and take one in the moment and send it and you don't have to worry about it saving to your camera roll either so it's just going to be here for you to send it and not save to your device but if you don't want to take a photo right now you can just hit the x on the ones that we took there and you can venture over here to the right hand side and this is going to show you your recent pictures so these are all the recent photos that you've taken. However, if you want to access the full camera or your entire photo library, you can just take your finger down here and swipe to the right. And it's gonna reveal the option for you to open up your camera app or jump straight into your photo library. But moving back here to this arrow and taking a look at the next icon we have there, this is your digital touch. So once you tap here, you're actually able to pull up a feature that was once only native to the Apple Watch. So now you can do digital touch from your iPhone. And there are a lot of different things you can do here. So if you're curious what type of digital touches you can send, you can just kind of browse over here at some of the options. So this is gonna tell you what you can do here. So you can draw a sketch, you can tap with one finger to just send taps. You can send a fireball by doing a press with one finger. You can send a kiss by tapping with two fingers, or you can tap and hold with two fingers to send your heartbeat. Or if you're feeling broken hearted, you can tap and hold down with two fingers and then drag down and it will send a broken heart. Now, if you ever wanna change your color options, you can just tap the circle over here on the left and it's gonna pull up your color palette. So you can just tap on the color that you want it to change to. So maybe I want yellow instead of white. Now, when I write over here, I have yellow as my paintbrush. Or if you tap on the camera here, it's actually gonna start recording with your camera. So when it's recording, 
You can even draw on what it's recording in case you want to indicate something specific within the video for someone to focus on. Or you can do the digital touches from within here as well, just as you would without a video being visible. And the last icon here in the bottom right, this little arrow, this is going to expand your view so you have a full screen to work with. Therefore, you're not restricted to the little space that we were once looking at. But ultimately, that's digital touch. And then the last icon here, the A. Messages now has something called stickers and apps that you can actually use within your messages app. So these four dots here in the bottom left are gonna take me to all of the apps that I have installed for messages. Or if I want to explore more, I can just tap on store and it's gonna take me to the messages app store or the app store for messages so that I can download specific things that I want here to access within my messages. But some of the things that I have are down here. So right now I'm on the recents tab. So I'm seeing the things that I've used recently. So if I wanna use it again, I have quick access to it. But if I swipe to the right, then I pull up another feature that I have in here, which is TikTok. Tac toe So if the person that I'm messaging also has this messages app, then we can actually play a game of tic-tac-toe all from within messages. I also have these stickers here. There's also another game called Truth, Truth, Lie that you can play and just a whole bunch of other options to really take the way that you message and have a conversation with someone to that next level. But if you're interested to see what type of apps that I have installed, then let me know down below in the comment section and I'll go a little bit deeper in reference to what you're seeing here. So if you've ever wanted to let specific people know that you've seen their message, you can now do so. So once you're in the conversation with that person that you want to do that with, then all you have to do is tap the I in the top right corner and then you can turn on send read receipts. Now once you've done this you've enabled the option for this specific person to know that you've seen their message whereas other people still won't know that you've read them another feature that i found pretty cool was the fact that it gives you rich links so now when you send videos whether that be a video on youtube instagram vine or anywhere like that the person can now play the video from within the messages app so no longer will it navigate them to the website. You can actually just hit play here within the message and it will start playing the video. And the same concept applies for links as well. So when someone sends you a website, no longer will it just be a text link. They'll actually see like a visual thumbnail of what the website is and an abbreviated title to kind of summarize what they're looking at. Another thing to note is that you now have better looking emojis as well as bigger emojis. So our emojis look a little bit more lifelike. They look a little bit more real. And on top of that, if you send three or less, then they will send to that person in a size that's bigger than what we were once accustomed to. However, if you send four or more at a time, then they're just gonna go back to the normal size. So now you can get bigger emojis if you send three or less. Now something else that's pretty cool that you can do is that you can actually do like a quick response to some messages. So instead of actually writing a response, if you double tap on the message, it'll give you the option to either heart it, thumbs it up, thumbs it down, laugh at it, give it two exclamation marks or question what you're seeing. So all you have to do is just tap on the one you want and then the person will be notified that you like the comments. So instead of always having to type a message back, you can do these quick replies. Now, of course, there are probably some other iOS 10 messages features or hidden tips and tricks that I did not touch on in this video. So if you wanna know more, then let me know down in the comments comment section or if you want to drop your own things that you've noticed within iOS 10 or iOS 10 messages feel free to drop that down below as well so I know I'm personally as you can tell enjoying the new update thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it and be sure to hit subscribe if you want more and as always thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out